I'm Dave Wyvera, I'm director of the Cockpit, and we produce Voila Europe. I'm Charlotte Desac, and I'm the programmer of Voila Europe. Uh, Voila Europe Festival is London's annual European theatre festival. It goes on for 11 days at the Cockpit, the Etc. Theatre, and Applecott Arts in Newham. Um, this year we'll be hosting 30 companies um, from across the UK and Europe and the shows will be in multiple languages, nine from Europe and of course in English. Um, and you'll find shows in every single genre you can possibly dream of. Uh, it used to be uh, Voila, which was a French language loving festival. We started the festival on the French language because I had a fascination with bilingual theatre on stage. Yeah, so it evolved into uh, Voila Europe um, after a Brexit was kind of the one of the first reasons for, for doing that. And also because we could feel that the festival was growing and we wanted to extend out to, to, to more national, to more languages and, um, and to more theatres and attract more audiences. Yeah, there was no reason to stop the French, mm. really. And it's got this focus really on language and about the way people are crossing borders and what's, what, what's getting said now elsewhere in theatre? I think that uh, what I look out for is uh, something that Dave's talked about a lot, which is engaged theatre, is, is that correct? And that's really the idea that the people who are doing those shows um, are the only people who can do it. And um, so it's looking at companies that are really engaged and, and looking at a, a specific um, a concept or theme and are going to treat it in their very own unique style. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the way that we program is by m m programming double bills so that each audience member can come and see two shows of completely different genres from different places around Europe and really have an eclectic evening of theatre. That's how you does it. Nice. The cockpit is the flagship venue. It's always been here and we create a great atmosphere in <clears throat> And during the festival here, as much as the cockpit is an excellent space, it doesn't always doesn't always provide for companies who need, for example, a smaller, more intimate space to to do their show. So we um, spoke with the Etc. Theatre, who have this tiny little bijou theatre of forty seats in in Camden. Also, the idea was to move geographically and, and be across more of London. And we came across Apple Car Arts, which are all the way out in Newham, um, but are really um, engaged um, theatre who uh, have a lot of space to provide residencies for artists. So all the artists that are at Voila have been given residency and free space and advice um, to develop their shows in, in leading up to the festival. Yeah, so. this, that's important because, because this is not... This is not touring international art theatre, it's not Robert Lepage, it's not Peter Bausch. This is stuff that's under the radar, which is why we're particularly keen to do at this scale. So rather than get bigger and bigger venues and end up at the Barbican, you want more and more little theatres. Because then people can afford to come and then we can have, and then we can have a network of small shows. Um, and, and that's also one of the strengths of Voila that I've found in the past is that a lot of the shows start here and then have a great life um, uh, in the years to come because they were given the opportunity to create a piece of work in an international festival. It affects mine. Um, I think that, well, one interesting thing about that is that Europeans may not be interested in Brexit at all. So you're inviting people to come here and do what's important to them, and that's what's important to us. So, so in some ways, this is definitely a, a deliberate acknowledgement of the fact that I, for one, enjoyed London, as we all do, really, as it uh, enjoyed it as a multinational, cosmopolitan, international cultural hub. And I ain't gonna let that go that easily. And this is this is the this is the cockpit and us pushing back against that that the trend to erect borders, definitely. Probably Voila Europe is very close to the centre of people's enthusiasm for the European project as it was originally conceived and as those that still adhere to that would like to see it progress. I think it's it's it is a European thing. It ain't an English thing, it's a European thing. And I propelled myself into that because I, I only speak English, I don't speak any other language.
So this is partly therapy for me <laughs> at the time, I'm afraid. So it's on from the 8th to the 18th of November. Um, we uh, are, you can buy your tickets on various websites that the theatres uh, the theaters provide, so the Cockpit, the etc. and Apple Car Arts. We also have the Voila Festival um, web website, which is uh, voilaeuropefestival.com. And so do come along on opening night if you don't know what you want to see, as we will be um, uh, showing extracts of all the shows and providing you with a free glass of wine at the cockpit from 6.30pm. There you go. So give yourself a break from national borders and come and come connect.